Happy Sunday to you guys. I'm here to do my first um, What's in Your Bag video. This is my favorite bag of all time. I shouldn't say that because as you saw in my last video, I have quite a few bags. But this is one of my favorite. It's my Louie. It's a little worn, but I think it looks very seasoned and very nice and all. I just, um, I don't know why anyone would want anything else but a real genuine Louie because it, it's just, it wears like fine wine. Get her, it just gets better and better with age. But let's look inside. I did discover that I wanted to start carrying, when I carry this uh, drawstring, uh, a pouch or another small organizer to just kind of put things in because um, they do tend to get lost in the abyss of uh, that drawstring. I have a little pouch from Panama. My sister went for a visit, business trip actually, and uh, brought me this cute little pouch. And I had longer hair. I'm letting it grow gray. So if you have any tips on what what you guys did, if you let your hair go natural in any way, let me know how you coped. I have a pictorial on that on, on Pinterest, and I'm going to share that with you guys one day. Um, I have Lancome moisturizer. This is amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it lasts all day. Cannot live without my magnified mirrors. Have that as well. I have a uh, beautiful, I thought it was uh, Brighton, I think it's called, that, that leather house, but it was uh, just a generic, really nice leather pouch that I found at a thrift store. And I house my uh, crystal rosary that was gifted to me by a sweet aunt of mine upon um, the death of my dad which is going to be a year this month and she brought this to the funeral and gave it to me and I just loved it it's really cute um, what else is in here oh my glasses this is my spare pair I have these everywhere I cannot function without some kind of readers I do have a prescription that I got a few years ago when I finally quit denying the fact that I was losing my ability to see very clearly. Oh, these are where I keep my keys. This is not your, um, obviously not a Laura, a is it Vera Bradley? I was going to say Laura Ashley, dating myself. Um, but it does house all my IDs, my gym membership, uh, my business cards, even my headphones, which I think they fell out already, but they were in there. Uh, my cosmetic bag is one of these Etni Angers, I believe it's called. Or I, I don't, somebody tell me how to pronounce that because I still don't know how, but I sell a lot of them. Um, this is a gifted um, set of the Lancome Plum Gray Palettes. This makes a fabulous smoky eye. If you can see that, I love those colors. Uh, horrible mascara. Do not buy this Lancome. Clumpy and doesn't even work. Lush products. I'm totally in love with Lush products. Now this is a balm that can be used on your lips. It can be used to moisturize. It can be used to, you know, do that little spiky look on your hair. And I really like it a lot. I think it's really cool. I actually went and bought a bigger one. My daughter gave me a really nice gift set recently. I had that one and I went and rebought it. CoverGirl mascara. I'm not crazy about it either. I have discovered that I really like the Mary Kay. Ultimate, mas ultimate mascara. Bought that just on a whim because my friend had a party and you know you want to buy something, so I bought some stuff and I fell in love with that mascara. Was a little disappointed that it didn't last very long. I use it every day, um, so um, it didn't last very long. This is my little Fendi um, sun or glass case, sunglasses case. I just like the case. I bought it at the thrift store. It's really cute. And I used to have a Louis with this kind of a pattern on it, but it was, um, of course, Louis. And that's Fendi. And these are the cute little glasses that I found at the thrift store. Love them. They're green, green shades, and they have sort of a green tortoise shell motif to them as well. I can't read the brand, but it's a, it's actually a vintage pair. I think it says Gloria Vanderbilt. Oh, this is something I'm taking to work tomorrow. It's like a little water puzzle. I work with children with autism, and actually I work with adults and adolescents, and I think they'll enjoy just kind of looking at that. And we do use the ABA treatment applied behavioral analysis, so they will be working for this if they can tell me their name and their address a few times a day. They can play with that, along with other things, of course. They, they love their computers and things. 
iPads. Oh, napkins, of course. Always carry napkins. And the wallet. Big, fat wallet with no money. Just credit cards, ID cards, gift cards that I need to use. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.